G'day there Groovers, uh, in this video here just wanted to talk a little about file compression and file size and uh, different formats to use but really specifically just wanted to talk about photo the Photoshop format, the .psd file or TIFF files and uh, in the past I'd previously saved all my images uh, using the .psd extension and uh, I don't do that anymore, I stick just with TIFF file now um, and there's a couple of good reasons for that. One is file size um, and it just completely reduces the amount of size uh, that's required on your hard drives um, and when you're working with a lot of images and using lots of layers and stuff like that if you can save half the file size so if you're working on a hundred meg image um, uh, which would which it would be as a .psd file and you can get that down to 50 meg or 55 meg um, it's better my way of thinking is it's better to have that 50 meg free on your hard drive um, and you're not sacrificing any of the quality either. So I did a couple of tests just to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Um, now I'm not talking about uh, creating files that have, um, you know, that you're compressing the heck out of so that you can save a bit of space. Um, I'm talking about using a lossless compression. So what that means is you're not losing any of the quality of your image. You're not throwing pixels permanently away uh, from your image. So I've got this file here which is a .psd file and I've saved some of these already uh, so you can check them out. That's this one here, 19.4 meg. Um, now what we're going to do is have a look at uh, the TIFF file here. I saved a TIFF version of it with no compression at all and it was 19.5 so virtually identical uh, in the formats there the Adobe Photoshop file format or the TIFF image format uh, with no compression on either of them obviously then works out about the same now I did uh, come in and save a save one here whoops uh, just go save as okay and I'm gonna save it as a TIFF file here file 2 save Okay, so if we go to the LZW option here, uh, pixel order, choose interleaved. I'm on a Mac, so I'm choosing Macintosh there. Uh, don't worry about save image pyramid. If you don't know what that means, it means don't worry about it. Uh, but really, for like it says as you ho hover over it there, it preserves the uh, image, um, uh, the multi-resolution -res information in it. So I, I wouldn't even worry about that. Um, next thing you've got here is the layer compression and if you want the best compression so saving a bit more space um, click on zip if you're not so concerned about that and uh, you just want to save a little bit quicker and this can come into effect if you've got a lot of layers and you've got a pretty gigantic file uh, you might want it to save faster so you could choose the RLE option there but in general I'll choose zip um, and often choose LZW as well, but uh, I also do use the zip option there. So um, that's how I saved it. So I'll just quickly save that one now and come over here. And you can see it's now 12.8 meg. So that file, the original file there that was 19.4 meg is now saved as 12.8 meg, completely lossless. So we haven't lost any of the quality of our image um, and that, that works fine. Now uh, we could actually uh, save this image using the other option there, which is, let's have a look here, we'll call it number three. Okay, and we'll just choose the zip option here, and it says it's not compatible with older TIFF readers. Um, just click yes there. And once again, choose the zip option there, Mac, if you're using a Mac, interleaved, click okay. And this saves all our layers here, um, saves all the information and data about the file. Absolutely perfect. And you can see that just gives us a little bit more compression there. So 12.3 meg um, TIFF file there. Down from the original 19.4. So we're saving there 7.1 meg uh, just on that one image. And I've seen lots of images, I've used many images myself, where the file size could have been 100 meg. Um, you know, 200 meg and you save it down and you're just saving extra disk, disk space. So, um, something to think about. Uh, as I mentioned, personally, I don't use the PSD format anymore. I just stick purely with TIFF 
and uh, it works great. I'm absolutely happy with it. I'm glad I've got a little bit more disk space on my computer as well, um, effectively, you know, doubling it uh, by just using those lossless compressions there. Uh, I don't worry about the JPEG compression using TIFF files, so uh, you can use it if you want, but I, I don't really recommend it. Uh, just stick with the LZW or the ZIP compression with your TIFF files, and you'll be saving disk space all the way to the bank. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. And uh, yeah, leave any comments below in the comment section on the site here. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye.